There are still so many unanswered questions tonight, including why the shooting happened. This morning, UVA officials mentioned there have been previous disciplinary incidents involving the suspect. At a news conference Monday morning, University Police Chief Timothy Longo said he wanted to be transparent about previous incidents involving the suspect, 22-year-old Christopher Jones Jr. Back in September of 2022, our Office of Student Affairs reported to the multidisciplinary threat assessment team that Mr. Jones, they received information that Mr. Jones had made a comment about possessing a gun to a person that was unaffiliated with the university. But Chief Longo said the comment was not made in conjunction with any threats. The Office of Student Affairs followed up with the reporting person and made efforts to contact Mr. Jones. In fact, they followed up with Mr. Jones' roommate, who did not report seeing the presence of a weapon. But before that, Chief Longo said another incident had also put the suspect on the radar. Because he was involved in a, a hazing investigation of some sort, I don't know the facts and circumstances of that investigation. I know that uh, it was eventually closed uh, due to uh, witnesses that would not cooperate with the process. But through the course of the threat assessment team's investigation, we learned of a prior criminal incident involving a concealed weapon violation that occurred outside the city of Charlottesville in February of 2021. Chief Longo said student policy says Jones was required to report that, but he never did. And so the university has taken appropriate administrative charges through the university's Judiciary Council, and that matter is still pending adjudication. And tonight, Jones is in custody in Henrico County, where he grew up. We're told police arrested him near his family's home 12 hours after the shooting. Our partner station in Richmond tried to speak with his mother. She was sobbing as she tried to make sense of the accusations against her son. She said there were no warning signs. Jones's father says his son was well liked and a good student, but he says a month ago he noticed something was off. He had some problems. Uh, when the last time I talked to him, he said uh, some people was picking on him or whatever. Uh, he didn't know how to handle it. I just told him, you know, just don't go to school. Don't pay him no mind. Do what you got to do. He was, he was real paranoid when I, when I talked to him about something. He wouldn't tell me everything. I don't know what happened between then and now to cause, to cause this uh, to happen. According to the Henrico County Sheriff's Office, Jones is scheduled for a video arraignment tomorrow. He is charged with second degree murder.